Knowing your worth is like having a superpower. Imagine being a protagonist in a video game. You slowly upgrade your armor, then go through challenges, then defeat the boss to save the world. When you deep dive and really think who you are and what you bring to the table, you'll know where you belong. Let me enlighten you and bring out the value you don't see in yourself. I'm going to show you how you can discover your own worth. Keep watching. In this time of materialism, knowing your worth can be a game changer. Your worth isn't linked to your materialistic possessions. It's a much deeper concept. Once you realize your worth, you won't need the validation from society. To be the hero of your life, you need to dig deeper in your soul. Find your self-esteem. Find that self-awareness. You have to be true to yourself. Once you get to know yourself, you'll become much stronger and confident. You start becoming the real you. To become that person who knows their worth, you need to start changing the way you see the world. What is self-worth? Before we go any further, we need to determine what defies self-worth and how it regulates our behavior on a day-to-day -day basis. People base their self-worth on materialistic items or monetary gains, and I think this is the wrong approach. Self-worth should solely be about a person's behavior, actions, or who they are. How a person feels emotionally about their existence, his or her aura or personality. Merriam-Webster defies self-worth as a sense of one's value as a human being. Therefore, having a good sense of value for yourself is essential for realizing self-worth. Positive psychology suggests that self-worth is at a core of our very selves. Our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are intimately tied into how we view our worthiness and value as human beings. So everyone uses a different standard to gauge worth. Some people think that it's appearance, social circles, careers, relationship, and money is to measure their self-worth. However, there's a lot more to it. Self-acceptance is a core to self-worth. So it's really hard to know your worth without accepting your values and how you react to situations. Being the weirdo. In my early childhood years, I never thought I deserved anything good in my life because of my surroundings and how others treated me. I was a quiet kid who didn't really have many friends growing up. And I also wasn't the popular kid. I wasn't trendy. And when I did discover trends, I was always late to them. In my middle school, I had no care for my vanity until I started getting bullied for my looks and appearance. It was certainly a challenge to understand why people treated me the way they did. Maybe it was the way I communicated to them, or maybe the way I presented myself, or all of the above. I was completely clueless and unaware of my own actions. I wasn't the brightest kid either in terms of being academically intelligent in my classes. I would always stir towards the creative arts. That was my escape. I had no sense of my worth back then. And maybe some of my childhood trauma added to how I feel. Hard time fitting into the norm. So I was always running away from my problems and always making excuses of why I couldn't fit in. I would always tell myself I'm too shy or I don't have normal interests compared to the majority of the people in my school. I always felt below average because I didn't fit into the normal social groups in my high school. I felt like I was that weirdo with just a few friends in high school and I thought I didn't deserve to be in those popular social groups. As much as I wanted to be a part of the social groups, I didn't put efforts because I thought I wasn't worthy to fit in. I would replay the past on how I was bullied in middle school and I didn't want history to repeat itself, so I would try to avoid those situations. I held back and I wanted to be low-key instead, but I still desired those friendships. I just didn't want to go through hell again. It was definitely a roller coaster ride of emotions and drama during that part of my life. Are you struggling with your personal development? Do you have hopes and dreams, fears and insecurities about your potential self-worth? Do you also wonder, what do I want to accomplish in my life? Or what are my goals and ambitions? What is getting in the way of achieving these goals? Look no further! It's the right time to start your self-realization journey. Better late than never! Download my free PDF guide on how you can gain clarity on your goals and organize your life. Link can be found in the description down below. Realizing what I bring to the table. Fast forward to my early adulthood. After learning to become more independent and discovering what I really like through working different jobs, interacting with different social circles and colleagues, I learned to become more self-aware of my own actions and the way I communicate to others. 
The awakening moment of when I knew my self-worth and why I didn't speak this to the universe sooner was when I was 18 years old, about to quit my part-time job at this retail store. So at my retail job, I was consistently micromanaged by my manager. And they told me that I wouldn't find any better than this. I was working there for about three years and I eventually quit and found better opportunities. Becoming the cool kid. After spending a few years working out of high school, I learned a lot about myself. And I also learned if I wanted to master particular skill sets, I would need to enroll back in college to further my education. This is where I felt like the cool kid for once. People wanted to actually be my friend, and that was new to me. During the time of working the many jobs I did, I learned what I was capable of and my skill sets. I was tech savvy and I didn't know this. A lot of people that I was talking to in different fields and industries that I worked in, whether that meant working at a tech company, real estate, or catering. So I was exploring my options out there in the real world and I learned that I had a unique talent and I didn't bring this to life until later on in my adulthood. Recognizing your self-worth. It's been a hell of a journey to discover my own self-worth. I wanna share with you how you can improve and recognize your own self-worth. Letting your ego go. Get rid of the attitude of I know everything and be okay with failing and also not being the best at certain skill sets. Jack of all trades, master of none. You might've heard of that. It's a figure of speech. That speech basically sums it up. You don't have to be perfect at everything to be relevant. You gotta let that mindset go and focus on what you already know and what unique traits that you possess that others don't. I believe ego can damage a person's emotions and mental health. If you never let go of your ego, there might be chances that you might run into some trouble. If you never accept that you're wrong, you might misinform people. So however, if you let go of your ego, it can also be beneficial for you. But it doesn't mean you have to abandon your ego completely. If you have a strong ego, you already know your self-worth and what you're capable of. And also having a strong ego improves your personality. By letting your ego go, you can practice forgiveness. You have to admit when you're wrong, especially in certain situations. So you have to also practice gratitude. You have to be grateful for what you already have and what you already own and the friendships that you have. And most importantly, be true to yourself. Once you let go of your ego, when you confront it, there's no running or hiding. So be true to who you are and let go of that ego. Stop dwelling on the past. I actually have a video about this on where I go through the whole topic of why dwelling on the past will just hold you back. Your past is uncontrollable and instead you should use those lessons as tools to help you further for your future outcomes. Don't let your past steal your present or tomorrow. The past is history and it just can't be changed so why bother? So behavioral science suggests that dwelling on the past will just cause you anxiety and depression and we don't want that. So self-doubt is just gonna create fear of what you can accomplish and you're gonna question your self-worth. You gotta start living for you. Imagine where you're gonna be in five years. Stop thinking about what you were five years ago, but think about where you're going to be five years from now. Wouldn't you rather see yourself in five years, whether that means being super successful, possibly being a CEO of your own company, living a nice life, possibly having your own home, and all of those positive things that you think of yourself. So once you start leaving those fears behind and just start seeing the future you, you're not even gonna think about, I used to be a loser, I used to be a weirdo. You're just gonna think that I'm gonna be on an island and I'm gonna be on a yacht enjoying life. Stop living in the past and counter those negative thoughts into positive thinking. I like to do breathing exercises and light yoga, as I mentioned in all my other videos, and it really helps me with stressful situations, especially when I'm thinking negatively. All I do is do my light yoga and then I go deep breathe in and deep breathe out and just try to clear your mind, listen to some calming, relaxing music. Gotta distance yourself from people who are negative and toxic for you or people who have hurt you or are continue hurting you. You have to come to peace with the people who have wronged you. Forgive them. And now I know this might be hard, especially when you've dealt with, you know, possibly people who have bullied you in the past or people who are just haters. You have to just let them go. As long as they're hating on you, that means that you have the power. As soon as you forgive the people who have hurt you, you automatically have that power in your hands. Just treat yourself like gold and be gentle and forgive the mistakes you made. It's gonna impact you for the better. Being aware of your talents. Make a checklist of the things you enjoy in your life and the things you're good at. 
If you're having trouble with this exercise, get a friend to help you to discover what you're good at. Or maybe if you're not even good at that, maybe something that you enjoy. So if you align your talents with your interests, there's a high possibility that you already know your self-worth. It can give you success in your life or career as a whole. Find out what excites you and a strong feeling of feeling valuable. So a study by Careers Park suggests that once you're using your skills and talents, you're more likely to find a career that will match your personality. Talent refers to the inherent abilities that we're born with, which will lead to high performances in both learning and executing of the skill sets. So for example, the talent to negotiate, invent, being artistic, being very good at sports or communicating, etc. Having a talent to perform a skill is essential. A person with a talent in that profession is more likely to execute it easily. And once you find out your own talent, it will increase your self-worth. Just imagine you're starting from zero. You're a newbie in a video game. You're level one. As soon as you kind of find out what class you're in, whether that means being an archer, a warrior, or mage, once you pick a career path, you're gonna know what you're good at and what you like. Once you know what you like, you can start adding the abilities onto that. Knowing your talent and what you're interested in goes hand in hand. Also knowing your weak points also helps you with knowing what you're good at. So get a friend to help you write that list. It's really important to know what you're good at because maybe in your head, you might think you're mediocre, but in reality, you're super amazing and you're super talented and you never knew about that. Just like in the story that I told you guys, I didn't know I was tech savvy until later on in my adulthood when all my friends around me were telling me, oh my God, you know how to solve this. You know how to build a website. You know how to like access social media. I was like, I, I thought it was common sense. So it's a good thing to write things down. You're gonna start feeling good about yourself again. Stop comparing yourself to others. Everybody has a different path in life. And once you realize not everybody's built like you or you're not built like them, you're gonna stop feeling worthless. Constantly comparing yourself to others is super draining and it's not good for your mental health. I used to compare myself and my journey to others who were younger than me or maybe, you know, at the same pace as me. And I always thought like, this, this was a toxic thought I used to think when I was like younger. I was thinking, you know, this person's journey, they're so far ahead of me in their lifetime. And, you know, they went to school earlier than me. They accomplished more than me. But then I had to really sit back and dial it back and realize, wait, I don't even know this person's life story. How can I judge what they're worth and how successful they are in their career? You know, they, they may have graduated on time. They may have gotten a head start in their career on time, but I don't know their story. And they also don't know my story. So this goes back to everybody has their own pace in life and has a different path. So you can never compare your journey to someone else's. Maybe you're, you've experienced more trauma or they have, and which maybe have set you back. But the setbacks in your life aren't something that you should feel ashamed about. Having struggles in your life and setbacks is normal. If you never had those experiences in your life, it wouldn't make you the person you are today. It gives you those experiences that you can never forget and you'll learn from them. I've made tons of bad investments in my life. I've taken losses in Bitcoin and other stock investments, but if I never took the risk to do them, I wouldn't have known. And your experience alone will always be special. So always cherish those moments in your life. It's always learning lessons and just know that you can never compare your journey to someone else's journey. Page one in your book might be someone's page 10 in their book. Time is different for everybody. We all have our Mount Everest to climb. To stop comparing yourself to others, I think you need to be aware of your triggers and what causes them. I think for me, social media took a toll on me and that was also a negative thing in my life. I feel like social media can be toxic because there's always constant comparison and it's really superficial. People live their best lives, but is it really their best lives? Even though you might see someone's best version of themselves on social media, that might not be the reality of things. Like I was saying before, you don't know their story and they don't know your story. Everybody comes from different places in their lives. Maybe someone had a head start in their life because they had a normal family growing up. Or maybe someone else's life might be slightly behind because they had a broken family. Everybody has their own pace and with the decisions you make in your life, it just makes you stronger. Once you forgive what you've done in the past, it's gonna make you stronger. Be at peace with your life. 
The need to realize self-worth is important, especially for your mental health. Social issues like depression, stress, and anxiety are gaining serious momentum. A major part of these issues lies in the fact that people are losing their sense of self-worth and self-esteem. If we don't talk about it now, it's just going to create a menace in society. All good things take time. You have to be persistent while you're trying to know your self-worth. Don't be afraid to explore new adventures, interests, and hobbies to discover the potential in you. It'll be worth your life. I hope this content compels you to start your self-realization journey. I've been slowly opening up in my videos and I just want to say it's been a hell of a journey and I hope it's helped you. Let me know in the comments down below on how you struggle with finding your self-worth. I'd like to know. Anyways, if you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe for more. Also, don't leave yet. Check out the next video on the next screen. It should be right here or there. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.